In this video, we're gonna be covering 17 awesome packing and gear tips for weekend trips and daily carry. I'm Tom from Pack Hacker, your guide to better gear. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and ringing that bell icon for notifications. This is a community-driven video and every tip on this list was inspired by a member of Pack Hacker Pro. 2020 has looked a little bit different for travel, but if there's anything we align on in the pro community, it's improving the gear that we carry and the way that we carry it. So whether you're traveling from New York to Tokyo, across state lines on a weekend road trip, or from your bedroom to kitchen table to do some work, you are bound to find use from the tips in this video. And remember, some of the best tips come from our communities, both in Pack Hacker Pro and right here on YouTube. So please leave a comment with your favorite tip below and thumbs up your favorites down in the comments as well. Let's get into it. If you're one that likes to carry a lot of gear, try to find space efficient versions of the items you can't go without. This will not only lighten your load, but also make it easier to sort through everything in your bag. Lately, I've been a big fan of using the Anchor PowerPort 3 to help charge my laptop. It's a fraction of the size of a traditional MacBook Pro power brick and carries a lot better. Brian B carries the Molecule card holder from Pioneer where he holds two to three cards and cash. It's much smaller than traditional wallets and works well for his pared down currency carry. Mino I likes to use a foldable Bluetooth keyboard that folds up to be the fraction of the size of a tablet. Plus, it connects to three devices and is angled for better ergonomics, which is a rare thing for compact keyboards. Stuff that folds up is generally great, like the sunglasses from Rove that come in at a fraction of the size of ordinary sunglasses and are sturdy enough to fit into a pants pocket. For more ideas, make sure to check out our packing lists where we look for the smallest gear possible. When it comes to everyday and travel gear, go for versatility. One of the most obvious examples of this is your phone. You can text, call, write notes, browse the internet, listen to music, read a book, the list goes on. But how about a small tripod for your phone? You can prop it up to take photos and video or watch a video or take a video call. No matter the use case, it is much easier than holding your phone for long periods of time. We've had great luck with the small Joby Gorilla Pods, the Night Eyes Quick Stand, and the Peak Design Mobile Tripod. Similar to the versatility of phones, Kiaro E finds a lot of versatility in his Apple Watch. At the gym, he can manage his routine without the temptation of scrolling through a cell phone with a larger screen. And while traveling, he digs having his boarding passes and Apple Pay at the ready without the need for pulling out a wallet or documents. Try looking for versatile bags as well, like the Air Travel Pack 2, one of our highest rated bags over on the site. It's great for travel, but the size can also be reduced with compression straps for daily carry. Next up, Hero Clips. To quote pro member Evelyn H, she says, if you don't have one, you need one in your life. It's a small piece of gear, but it packs a punch. This thing can be used as a standard carabiner on a bag or to hang it up pretty much anywhere. Evelyn has also used the Hero Clip to hang up her laundry while drying and to keep her bag away from a curious pack of raccoons on a most recent trip to a national park. Try to find clothing with multiple use cases as well. One excellent example of this is a buff, which we found great use for as a scarf, hat, eye mask, and more. Carrie M has had great luck with the women's clothing brand Encircled, who always strive to create versatile pieces. For example, the Chrysalis Cardi can be worn as a cardigan, two to three dress styles, a scarf, a shawl, or a shirt. Sometimes the items you already have in your pack can be reduced in size with a little bit of creativity. A great example here is a glasses case. My Warby Parker glasses came in a pretty big case. Then we received some blue light glasses from Felix Gray that came in a much smaller case. After some more searching, we checked out the Night Eyes Hard Shell Optics case. This can clip to the outside of a bag and take up zero space within it. You can also use a couple of self-imposed restraints to help lighten your load. Ivan R used to have a big tech pouch, but then he sized down to an in-case accessory organizer to force him to be more mindful of the tech he's carrying daily. Limiting the tech he carries to that small pouch helps him reduce carry bulk. Sometimes there are clever little hacks to save you money and space, both of which are great when it comes to gear. If you want to literally roll your own, you can carry duct tape or gaffer tape around a pen. 
Tape is nice to have and carrying it this way helps reduce space and weight inside of your bag. Although I am constantly trying to find the best slim wallet for my use case, one of my favorite DIY hacks is using a standard black binder clip. It's inexpensive, lightweight, and low profile. Cards inside are relatively easy to access and cash can be folded into thirds or quarters to fit nicely on top of the cards. Ankur S chooses to carry a lacrosse ball with him and use it as a massage tool on the go. It's much smaller than a dedicated electric massage tool or foam roller and it works well for his needs. When Amy C didn't have any external Velcro on her sling bag, she decided to sew it on herself. With a little bit of Velcro, thread, a needle, and determination, she was able to fasten that perfect piece of Velcro on the outside of her sling. Of course, she shared a photo with our community with the Pack Hacker Pro patch on. Speaking of that patch, each new Pro member receives one when signing up, along with a sticker and a welcome letter. With Pro, you gain access to an organized resource of community-driven information with discussions about gear, tips and tricks for daily carry and travel, and members-only giveaways and more. Ask us anything about a piece of gear we've had our hands on and we'll answer. We're your personal resource. You'll also unlock our deals vault with exclusive discount codes to a variety of gear brands. Plus, a Pack Hacker Pro membership makes a great gift. It keeps on giving and there is no worry about shipping because gifting and sign up is instant. We're an independent company creating unbiased reviews on interesting gear. By signing up to Pack Hacker Pro, you'll help to keep it that way. And we're always striving to improve the pro experience. So whether you're gear obsessed or a first time traveler, we've got you covered. Head over to packhacker.com pro to learn more about a pro membership. We'll leave a link down in the description below. When you find the right bag for you, using it should feel fluid and effortless. Try to find a bag that fits well with the items you want to carry versus the other way around. This is easier said than done, and it takes a couple of tries to get right. Testing a bag yourself is irreplaceable, but here are some guidelines to help find the right size of pack for you. First, figure out the liter size of your current bag. Then, assess how full that bag is. General size works here. Half full, three quarters full, or overflowing. Keep in mind that bags aren't perfect rectangles, have different internal pocketing, and brands aren't always uniform when measuring capacity. But as an example, if your 30 liter bag is half full, you may be able to reduce to a 20 liter bag with room to spare. Another trick is to measure the longest item you carry to make sure it fits the longest measurement of the bag that you're looking at picking up. It took Loose A a couple of tries to get the right sling for daily carry, especially when they were working around a Nintendo Switch Lite. The Bellroy sling at seven liters ended up being the perfect size for the Switch and the other daily items that Luz carries. Matthew P has tried a ton of different bags in his day and has had great success in using the Mission Workshop rake while out on hikes with his kids. There's a pocket for pretty much everything he needs on the trail. First aid, snacks, hand sanitizers, water bottles. It takes experimentation and research, but our reviews should help you find that perfect bag as well. Having a bag that can be used in multiple ways is always a helpful thing. Pro community member Gord A recently got his hands on the Nutsack MBD. He uses the included strap to carry this thing around with him on the daily, but when he goes to the gym or goes traveling, he takes that removable strap off and uses it as a dedicated pouch inside of a larger bag. This ensures that the most used items are always with him. Another good example of this is the Peak Design Tech Pouch. You can use it as a pouch in your bag or use their anchor system to add a strap for a small sling. Pro member Brian R loves it because he can fit his Bose QC2 headphones inside of the tech pouch without the need to carry a separate case for them. Whether you're out and need to take a spontaneous trip to the grocery store, or need some extra carrying capacity for souvenirs on a trip, packable bags are a great item to have on hand. Pro member Paula K is a big fan of using these in her luggage because they don't take up much space. These packable bags can range anywhere from those standard totes you get at a conference or a music festival to specifically designed backpacks, totes, and duffels from your favorite carry brands. For more information on packable backpacks, make sure to check out the packable backpack section in our day pack guide. When it comes to carrying gear, 
Dangling cables can be a hindrance to organization. Some tech pouches include elastic bands that will keep things nice and tidy, but that's not always the case. I'm a big fan of using Velcro one wrap for my cords, then sticking everything in a pouch. To set this up, wrap the Velcro tie around one section of the cord, then wrap the cable up in halves. Once you have it set up as small as you'd like, wrap the Velcro around the bundle and cut off the excess strap with the scissors. Rebecca C, our community manager, swears by these magnetic cable wraps that she picked up at a 100 yen store in Japan. Having clean cables and cords will ensure a better organization system with easy access to essentials. The inspiration for this next tip comes from Ali S, who says that it is just as easy to overpack for daily carry as it is for travel. If your bag feels too heavy or full, it's time to reduce the gear inside after thinking critically about what you actually need. One of the best ways to do this is to unpack your bag and lay all of the items out on a big table in front of you. Sort them into three piles. Pile one should hold the items you use frequently, like multiple times per day. Pile two should have the items you use maybe every other day. Pile three should hold the items that you rarely use. From there, look at piles two and three, and you should start getting an idea of what you may be able to cut out from your carry. Try to cut the biggest space and weight penalties first. Omitting a 32 ounce water bottle in favor of an 18 ounce is going to make a much bigger difference than getting rid of a small flash drive. We already talked about the importance of packing with versatile and lightweight items, but sometimes a little redundancy is a good thing. If you have a key piece of kit that you use frequently, it might be worth getting another so you're not interrupted if one fails. Nathan C on our team carries two pairs of headphones, his AirPods Pro, along with a pair of wired SoundMagic E50s. Since Nathan edits a lot of video, it's important that he has audio all day, every day, even if the AirPods run out of battery or one of the headphones stops working. Mark M uses his Bose QuietComfort headphones throughout the day, but he brings along a pair of wired Apple ear pods just in case something goes wrong. Even though his desk has a blue Yeti mic for calls, he still uses wired ear pods as a backup. Christian L likes to carry two different phone chargers with him. A robust charger sits in his dedicated tech pouch alongside other items he needs for work on the go. A compact charger goes into a quick access pocket of his bag for impromptu charges. This gives him fast access and redundancy in case one of the chargers becomes inoperable. It's great to keep similar or frequently used items next to one another for easy access. Items can either be added to a specific pocket within a bag or separate pouch for easy access and transport. Rachel S keeps the frequently used items that she needs quick access to inside of a dedicated pouch. This is easy to keep track of compared to the small individual items and a pouch can sit on the car seat next to you while driving, on top of your desk while working, or even on your bedside table for easy access late at night. Plus, it's easy to swap in and out of different bags if needed. Brandon K has a couple of different pouches, including the Tombin HLT pouch and the GORUCK padded field pocket. He swaps these out between the different bags that he carries, attaching the pouch inside of Evergoods and GORUCK bags for a secure fit. If there's an expensive piece of gear out there that you know you'll use a lot once you get your hands on it, it can be great to do research and check out reviews before purchasing. As a general rule, the more you use an item, the better it should be. Peter Z has no problem investing in quality headphones, especially since he uses them so much during the day. The Bose QC2s have held up well for him, even though it's time for a new set of ear pads. Jeffrey W invested in a Best American Duffel back in the 1980s, and he has been using it ever since. He cleans it, takes care of it, plus it's created with a bunch of durable materials. A duffel that's been holding up for 40 years, we'll take it. Typically, when you find a product by a brand you like, you'll most likely dig the other products they've made as well. This is the case with pro member Jason M regarding the Japanese brand Porter Yoshida. He's gone down a self-proclaimed rabbit hole with the brand, picking up a duffel, tote, two messengers, and a satchel. He appreciates the craftsmanship and attention to detail. Plus, the look and feel of the triple layered nylon tanker fabric inspired by flight jackets from the 1980s. Manny S became a fan of Bellroy after he picked up the note sleeve wallet back in 2013. 
The moment he got his hands on it, he was inspired to start practicing minimalism and efficiency on his travels. This is a great feeling for a product to use daily. If you find a brand you like, don't be afraid to try out more of their gear, as chances are you'll dig it. When it comes to security from thieves and pickpockets, the best tool you can have is awareness. That being said, there are many other ways to keep your everyday gear loadout secure. The first thing is to keep valuables inside of the innermost area of your bag. It's much easier for someone to access an exterior pocket or pants pocket when compared to an interior bag pocket. Some bags come with extra security features like hidden pockets oriented towards the wearer's back or lockable zippers. Dina D has had great luck while using her PackSafe VentureSafe sling. She likes that it's smaller than a backpack, yet has some security features like self-locking zippers, an RFID blocking pocket, and reinforced fabric. Depending on your situation, these types of security features on bags can add to your peace of mind. Once you have each piece of gear managed and tidy, it's time to create the perfect system within your bag. For the best experience, consciously pack your items and pouches in the same place each time so you always know where they are for easy access. When it comes to systems, pro member Andre C said it best. Know your bag and purposefully decide how you're going to use it. Andre is conscious with the way he has his gym bag packed and has no problem finding his workout plan, belt, wallet, or phone right away. Everything has a place and it saves him a ton of brain cycles. And a big shout to Andre for settling on the Tom Bin travel tray as a chalk bag. Those things are handy and compressed down super small. If you've followed all of our tips so far, then you're bound to have a smaller bag or more room in your bag. Minimal doesn't mean going without. You should leave a little room for some luxury if you'd like. And by the term luxury, it's more than just the price tag. We're speaking about space and weight as well. Pro member Jeff C likes using his wireless Keychron K6 mechanical keyboard. Although this is one of the brand's smallest mechanical keyboards, it still creates a hefty footprint inside of a bag. For Jeff, this is totally worth it though because it is way more comfortable for him to type away for hours on his mechanical keyboard compared to a laptop or standard keyboard. Folks that love a great coffee brew will also make space for their gear. Ali S will bring her grinder, beans, AeroPress, and filters with her for a great cup of joe on the go. We've recently got our hands on the AeroPress Go as well. The carrying case doubles as a mug, which brings some nice versatility. Creating space for those luxury items in your daily gear lineup is definitely possible. It just takes a little bit of strategy. If you haven't figured it out yet, the gear that each person chooses to carry with them is very much an individual decision. Stuff like this is never set in stone either. Each time you get a new piece of gear to fit inside of your bag or a new bag entirely, you may need to make some tweaks. The good thing is, the more you learn, the easier this stuff becomes so you can move through your life seamlessly with the gear you carry. This is what the Pack Hacker Pro community is all about learning from each other and helping each other out to carry better daily. It's always easier to learn and discuss with other experienced people. I hope that's been apparent by showing you what all of our pros have been up to. So there you have it, 17 packing tips for weekend trips and daily carry. We would love to hear what your favorite packing tip is down in the comments below, so make sure to leave it down there. And if you haven't already, Make sure to check out packhacker.com slash pro to learn more about Packhacker Pro. We will leave a link down in the YouTube description below for that. Thanks for keeping me here at Packhacker, your guide to better gear. We'll see you in the next one.